Hello, my name is Dr. Chandni Nakum and this channel is dedicated to all things teeth and dentistry. I'm a dentist based in the UK and I enjoy making people smile, not only from the outside but also from within. I want all of you to be able to understand your teeth better so I'm trying to make complex information into simple, bite-sized and an easy way to understand more about your teeth. Today we are talking about fluoride and there is so much controversy around fluoride. Dentists will tell you that it's the single best thing out there for your teeth, whereas other people will say it causes fluorosis, it's harmful, it's poisonous, it's toxic, it's dangerous and you shouldn't use it. So what do you believe? Make sure to stick around till the end where I'll be telling you how much fluoride should be in your toothpaste depending on your age. So let's get stuck into the truth about fluoride. Let's start off with what is fluoride and where does it come from? So fluoride is a natural mineral that's found in foods, lakes, oceans and rivers and it's also found as a supplement too. It's usually found combined with something else. So, so for example, in toothpaste, it's commonly found as stannous fluoride and sodium fluoride. Fluoride has been used in toothpaste because it has such good effects on your teeth and it is the single most important ingredient in your toothpaste. Now, some of the reasons for why fluoride is so good for your teeth is because it reduces decay. It's been proven time and time again that this is true. Second thing is that it prevents sensitivity. And the third is that it even helps with tooth formation when you're a child. So if you're not using a fluoride toothpaste, please start using one. In some areas here in the UK, fluoride is added to water supplies. There was a really big review that was done on fluoride being added to water and it was shown that there was a huge reduction in the amount of tooth decay but it can cause dental fluorosis. So what is dental fluorosis? Fluorosis is a speckling that happens on your teeth and it can vary in colour from white if it's mild to a brown colour if this is more severe. This happens because the fluoride is being taken and ingested into the body. In the same study, however, it was shown that water fluoridation has no link to bone fractures or cancer, which is what a lot of people are worried about. Topical fluorides have very low chances of causing dental fluorosis because the fluoride is not being ingested and it's not being taken into the body. So things like toothpaste, gels that your dentist might apply are very, very safe for your teeth. This is why I recommend watching your child when they're brushing or even brushing for them so that they aren't accidentally swallowing the toothpaste, which will increase their chances of dental fluorosis. Also, just to add, fluorosis of your teeth can only happen when the teeth are still forming. So it's only going to happen when you're younger. So how much fluoride is enough and how do I know it's safe? So for an adult, the amount of fluoride in your toothpaste should be between 1,350 to 1,500 parts per million. And you can always read this on the back of the box or the back of the tube of toothpaste. For children between the ages of three and six, they should be using a fluoride toothpaste containing more than 1,000 parts per million. And once they have an adult tooth, which is around about six, six years old, they should move on to adult toothpaste. So as soon as their first adult tooth has come through, it's an adult toothpaste from there on. For children aged below three, so zero to three years old, they should be using a smear of toothpaste containing no less than 1,000 parts per million. So that's pretty much the same thing as the three to six year old group, but for a three to six year old, they should be using a pea-sized amount of toothpaste on their brush, 
Whereas if you're from zero to three, it should just be a very thin smear of toothpaste and nothing more. If you found this video interesting and you want to know more about your teeth, then please hit the thumbs up and also please subscribe below. Also, if there are any other videos that you would like me to make, then please comment that in the section below and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos.